Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I just wanted to show you that duck and goose are loving their little setup over there. They love their little pool, they love the shade. They must feel a sense of security being underneath there. I know that Leo, it, Leo our goose, was really stressed out about that um, turkey vulture swooping down from the sky so close to him. So he's been really cautious and looking around a lot. So he must really be enjoying that. Whoa, she just lifted him. Wow, I did not know dogs could do that. She literally just dug that out of a hole. Did you see it? Yeah, she likes rocks. Don't look at her, she blinds you. Yeah, don't look at her, she blinds you. Anyway, she's down here with us in the goat, in the goat paddock. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today oh we're God. starting out in the goat barn. Man, we have a lot to do before winter. I told you guys that. Just today we are getting ready to do our chores down here. We're gonna take you guys along with us, but we're doing something extra special too. Go away, little man. <laughs> Wait, can I hold him? Yeah, you can hold him. <laughs> he, he actually gets really cuddly. He'll cuddle right in. I think he really likes me. Hello, baby. We love you. Don't worry. We have not forgotten about you. Boy goats can be disgusting, you guys. Cold in this barn. I love it. This barn is one of my favorite places to be. So Sam is already here working on our little area for the goats. We're super excited. We don't want to build up this area over here because the goats can jump up onto that thing and then get fall down in behind. So especially when we have babies, so we want to be really careful. I know. I love her. I love them all. There's not a goat that I don't love. Recently, we rented a buck so that when our so that when our goats are ready, we'll be able to breed them. You guys, I just cracked my head open. Okay, it's not cracked open, but it feels like it's cracked open. I have to go check and see if it's bleeding. This thing always messes me up. This little shelter in the goat field. Oh, I should put some hay in there for the goats. But when you come walking, you see this and you just assume that it's high, but then you crack your head on that. Sam's working in the goat barn with us today. So I brought, I'm getting a chair for him. Here, I brought you a chair. Oh my gosh. This chair is no good. You know, Chino's feeling good <laughs> when. <all> ripped apart. <laughs> Show it again. <laughs> all the hay. Send me the send me the video. I brought too much home. He brought too much home. Well, <laughs> we can't I, put his hay in the hay bag. Well, it wouldn't be another day on our farm if we didn't have another thing to try and figure out. We should go fix that right now. Yeah, we should go fix that right now. Sam says he doesn't really like this kind of chair. Why don't we get like a futon kind of chair for in this barn? Um, All right, we'll do that. Yeah. So if he's like, come and look at the duck and the goose. It just looks like a little picnic area over there for them. I'm loving it. Do you see Chino? Yeah, I see Chino in the stall. He's been in there for a while too. Boy. I thought he was sleeping. I, I thought he was sleep. just like at the salt lick because that's his favorite place to go. But he's over there with his head over the thing. Happy's gone to fix it. I don't even know if I said it yet, but today's fun activity is that we're building some stuff for our for our our goats. I love it. I'm gonna put another one. Yeah, lower. lower. That's awesome. Do you think they'll be able to jump out though? Mm. Okay, no. it's no. fine they're, they're if blossom. Too scary. <coughs> No, because they... You do not know goats, then. <laughs> I guess you'll find out in the morning. They get out. There's a million gates that are all We might put this in with the boys, then. Um. Because our girls have been loving this, having this in here. It's kind of blossom goes, like... Do you have any way to fix this, Sam? If we can put a cover over top of these... There's... I don't know about down there, but here she can walk on it. But it's when she goes over here, she drops through. You need to buy a big... Order more wood from that guy and put it here. All right, because this is yeah, where it'd be she like drops. a ledge after. Yeah, it'd be great to have a ledge that they could climb up and walk around. Oh man, they would love that. Everyone. One of my goals today is to come in here and clean all the cobwebs. It's disgusting. That's the biggest pet peeve about this barn is all the cobwebs, and I've been brushing them down. All right. Dad was surprised that Daisy was down here. 
Yeah, Daisy came down today. She's not an outdoor dog. She's not really an outdoor dog. Uh, anyway, she came down. I love that she came down. I also want to paint this with chalkboard paint. I think I have some somewhere and make it nicer. I actually really want to make this barn adorable. Did you get it moved apart? Uh, moved away? Yeah. Where did you get those chips? They were from yesterday. I can't close that. Though. They're yours from yesterday? Yeah, they're mine. Oh, I have some in I my purse. Like oh. <laughs> it definitely feels nice that Chino can eat stuff again. Finally. We're still going slow. But how much did he eat? I don't know. Not that much. Oh, that's good. <laughs> He's still eating from it? No, she moved it all. It actually makes me so happy to see him doing that because it means he's feeling better. We put his hay in two uh, hay nets today because what they're doing right now, him and Willow, is yeah, they're not eating all their hay. They're messing on some of it. So I wanted to be like, I want him to eat it all. I want to, him to just be eating all the time. He didn't like that though. And he didn't like it apparently. He, he just went. He doesn't like to eat all the time. He goes and licks his salt lick. I know, he's addicted to that salt lake, but his salt levels are, are really high, so I don't know if that's good for him. Okay, so Gabby, ask me again, because I think everybody deserves to hear this question. What are you gonna do when they jump over the door? What are we gonna do when they jump over the door? And I said, I asked your dad the same thing. And he said, I don't think they're going to want to jump over the door. It's too scary. <laughs> but we're going to try it, even if we have to put up some kind of a block so that they can't do it. When you have like a boy in the house in another stall, girls definitely will do whatever they can to get to them. I love these little areas in this barn, like this, where you can hang stuff. I was thinking if we get into showing and we end up getting ribbons we can hang up our ribbons right here sam's still working on the lighting because it's not bright it's not very bright with this new light but anyway this is the thing that he made we used to use we wanted to use wood that we already have we wanted to repurpose stuff and that's what we're going to do a lot around here but this is the goat stall for the girls i'll show you the boy stall in just a minute They're not pregnant. Sophie is so sad that our goats are not pregnant. We finally figured out that our goats are not pregnant. Can't remember if I told you guys that we're renting a buck for the season and we plan to breed our two adult goats uh, at the end of October. So once we, so once the buck came, uh, all the girls went into heat. So now we know that none of our goats are pregnant, which I'm really happy about. I wanted them to have a full year between breedings. Oh, goodness. They're only mean to each other's babies. Isn't that crazy? Go underneath. She's our lead goat. She's the leader of the herd. <laughs> Let's close the door and see what happens. Goats are on 
honestly the noisiest creatures on the whole farm. They're so noisy. Every room is clean now. Um, we ended up putting this little hut in the boys area. This is the boys area now. Now that we have a boy stall and a boy area and a girl area, any little bucklings that are born on our farm can have their own little group. They can be together. So we have a spot to put bucklings now. This morning when we were doing chores, those two came in the bar and was yelling. So Willow will eat from the hay bag. Chino prefers to go over here <laughs> and eat the hay there. Gabby had to move it all around. Held by the hay in the water. Yep. <laughs> hay in the water. Storm does this thing all the time where he goes to the water trough, gets water out, brings it over to you and waits till you're unsuspecting and then drops it on your head. And he just did that, but Sophie got away, luckily. Also, my friend said maybe Ellie got in from jumping on the salt lick, which she didn't. I was walking out of the barn and I saw her back up. She was on that corner of it and she started to back up first. Like she backed up and then she leapt just as I was walking like towards that door. So I turned around and came right back because I saw her do that and then I heard the splash as I was turning around. So I'm so happy. I know, Storm loves it here. They all love it here. They're living like wild horses. Sophie and I are going to ride today. Maybe Gabby. So uh, we're going to go get some lunch. Being on a farm is a lot of work. It's 12.30 and we are have already been like doing so many things. Right, Gina? Right? You I, he's so happy. happy boy, yeah, man. so happy. So uh, if you guys, I'll probably just be giving Chino updates in every video for a while. Um, he it, he still has weeks of drugs left. He has weeks of medication left to cure him, and that makes me so happy. I mean, how many weeks has it been? It's only been a few weeks. It's only been a couple of weeks. Two weeks? Three weeks? I it's don't like know. two weeks of medication. He's already... Yeah, he still has weeks of medication already. left. So well, I'm excited about that because he's already doing so well. But he still has opportunity to even get better. He's walking a million times better. He's more active. He's more wanting to walk. Gabby's been walking him, taking him for walks again. Like, once he started the medication and he had that Herx reaction, it, it was slow going for a while. But we're on the mend. Oh, before I forget, I also wanted to mention that I showed a video of Gabby riding Gray Finn. Sure, I'll take a 7-Up. She got to ride Gray Finn again, and it was amazing for her. She loved it. Uh, he's been sold to a family at our barn, an amazing family at our barn, and I'm so grateful that they let her ride him one more time. Um, but some people are saying, like, you missed out on that one, and we totally missed out on him. The issue was, at the time, Gabby and still, and Gabby still is committed to Chino. And as much as I want to be like, Gabby, let's buy this horse. Gabby, let's get you another horse so that you can ride it when Chino's, you know, getting better. She only has eyes for Chino. Every single time she rides a horse, it doesn't matter what horse it is, she compares him to Chino. And she tells me all the time, well, he's slower than Chino. Or he's not as good at this as Chino. Like, she is so committed to her boy. And it's so admirable to me because I think a lot of kids, honestly, would get to the point where they'd be like, I just want to get a new horse so that I have one to ride. But she's happy riding less than horses while her boy recovers. Every day there's a new change made by Sam. To put his boot on. I need socks. I try and always leave a pair of socks in my bag. I don't know if I did. I love the hay all packed up high like that. A true farmer carries zip ties in his pockets. Yeah. Oh. In case I need it. So we're just getting ready for a ride. Gabby's on her way out. We like to ride with Gabby, but look at, they match. Something weird that um, you guys probably don't know is that I love matching. And I have, we have all the saddle pads that match every shirt they own. And if it were up to me, they would match every day. If you hear screaming, it's my friend. Uh -huh. But I don't control. <laughs> I don't get to control that stuff. So they decide for themselves what they're gonna wear, what they're gonna ride in. And the days that I find them matching are my favorite days. I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. When you came through the door That you are 
the love of my life. So we're gonna go for a little trail. I love the green on you, it looks adorable. Nothing's hard, everything is easy with you. She'll do it, but my herd of horses. Hey, watch you guys. Come on. Yeah. Good girl. I asked her to go and she goes. Whoa. And now we're cantering and I'm about to lose a stirrup, but it's fun as heck. Good girl. Gabby had a crazy ride yesterday. She rode a horse that she really had to use all of her legs. And then Sophie's nervous about riding on a trail and it is what it is. You guys, be kind. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be at whatever level you're at. That's the way I raise my kids. And that's the way the world is going. It's okay to be kind and it's okay. Anyway, the whole point of my story is that I'm making Gabby cookies now because she came with us and that was amazing. And I'm so grateful that we got to go because... I won because I was always running in front of Storm. <laughs> Gabby with no legs beat storm. But anyways, Penny was so good on that trail. Anyway, that was really good. I want my goal before the end of the fall is to canter through a field. And I cantered like quite a few steps with Penny today on my command. And that's a huge thing. Normally she kind of takes the reins, but today I was telling her a bunch of times on the way home. If you want to gallop, go on this one. Yeah, if I want to gallop. No, she's got the best gallop. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 